So yeah, this is actually a custom anti-theft system. Works pretty, works pretty well. Beautiful. So today we just have a lot more organization going on. You can see over here is packed full of junk. Uh, basically what happened was we cleaned this side first, we pressure washed our floors really nice, and then we took all the junk from this side, put it back onto that side, just to make everything a little bit cleaner. That gave us the opportunity to pressure wash the floor on this side and organize our pallet racks here. Uh, we got some more pallet racks from a family, family member of ours. Uh, so my sister's grabbing the uh, delivery truck right now and she's gonna be uh, pulling it in here so we can unload those. So yeah, we should probably drop the scale off first. Should probably pull these guys out first, don't you think? So that when we're pulling them, they don't fall. Pull those, pull these guys. Just whatever's easiest, pull that out first. These racks aren't even gonna be the, the worst part, but I think these guys, we should be able to just find a spot inside the other side of the shed mm -hmm. and just stack them up. What we're looking for is a pallet. Search for a pallet, round two. Still stack them the same direction. Stack them like that, okay? But put the pallet like that so that it has more stability forward backwards. It's gonna have a little bit left right sway, but it should be fine. So as I, as I said before, really nice crummy weather outside. Really beautiful, but we're on journey number three for a pallet. I'm looking for one that's a little weird shaped, just like those ones over there. I need something that's just a little bit longer than a standard pallet. So a lot of our watermelons get shipped in on these uh, weird guys here. But yeah, this is our, let's see if we can find one that's a little better, in some better shape. Yeah, I should be able to get that guy out. Maybe. Um. Oof. Nice and sturdy like. Okay. We got it. Because these I think are fine. They wiggle a little. This is solid. These aren't gonna move. So yeah, maybe just strap bungees across there. So we're on pallet number four. And what we're looking for now is a box. We have a plastic heavy duty box, but we are kind of thinking that it's not deep enough so that when we put the actual 
stuff in there so they're just gonna tip out they're not gonna be held in there so we have pumpkin boxes somewhere in here oh there they are yeah I think we're gonna go with these or this I should say Ooh, come here, Mr. Pallet. Oh, oh, oh. No. <clears throat> there we go. Uh -huh. I wonder what's under there. So those racks over there are what make those straight up and down posts. These guys are what make the side to side post. And these guys that we're putting in now, those little small guys, are what hold up these panels to make the actual shelves. So we need this guy, uh, and working kind of fast. And we need this guy. So pretty much what happened is, this guy's full of all this metal now and the reason I did that was because it was too top heavy before so it was swaying a lot so I added all that inside which these boxes are actually fairly heavy duty but then we started hearing a slow little ripping noise which was this so we threw that ratchet strap around it that should make it a lot more solid I think that's all the metal we're gonna throw in it because it's quite heavy well now this rip's starting to appear and this rip started all the way up here and you can see it's slowly growing. So we're gonna throw another one on. It's actually a little bit twisted. There you go, that's untwisted. Yeah, it's still bowing, just not as bad. How hefty is it? Oh my! Nice and easy. This is gonna be so nice. Simple. Okay, and then there is some nice corrosion there, so that's nice. So bear with me a little bit guys because I'm not super familiar with these, but so this is our new roll lift that we got. It's just a pallet jack that's supposed to, according to this, lift 120 inches. So it's supposed to lift 10 feet, which is, from what I measured, perfectly on the top of that pallet rack. Uh, it says here that it can lift 2,000 pounds, but here it says it's rated only for 1,500, so I'm so sure this is what it can do, and this is what it can do safely. Um, but a family member of ours was downsizing his warehouse, and he was keeping less stuff in stock, so he gave us some of these big pallet racks here, like those you see up there, and some of these smaller ones, which are the same as that guy in that corner over there. But uh, I just wanna see what it can do. I already did try lifting this pallet. Now this thing is heavy, heavy, heavy. We had to put straps to reinforce it. So this guy I know is just, it's full of metal. So I know that's crazy heavy. Um, but we're just gonna see here. I did check the fluid level. Uh, we're gonna just gonna see. So after getting this lifted up all the way, it definitely looks, yeah, it's not gonna work for that top rack at all. So according to the back here, it lifts 120 inches, according to this. But I measured and 120 inches, so 10 feet, is right at where that top rack was set, which I was really excited for. 
because that would have meant that this would have just barely squeezed on there, which our skid steer actually has issues lifting that high. Uh, so I was really excited about that. But then I, th this is set all the way up the best I can uh, get it. And we're for sure gonna be able to put it on this second rack, no problem. And it'll actually be really nice for that. But it's not gonna be able to get it to the top, which isn't a huge deal. I was, a I was hoping that it would lift that high, but I was a little skeptical. But like I said, we got it for free. Super nice to have around because now we'll be able to pull off the top rack, or not the top rack, but that middle rack a lot easier. And that gives us about 14 pallets that we're able to move around a lot easier now. So overall, I'm happy with it. It's a little slower than I thought it was gonna be, but we'll charge it up and see if that changes anything. So here is the sprayer key. I need the sprayer key. Oh, found it. We're just gonna climb up here. Oh, really nice and clean. Turn the key on. So yeah, this is actually a custom anti-theft system. Works pretty, works pretty well. Beautiful. Well, I'm gonna lift up these stairs because if I don't, then they'll just start beeping at me. That's just no fun. stairs back down. Hey, be quiet. So I think for right now I'm just going to stack everything kind of right in this central area because we don't really need to pull anything of that, of that stuff out and if we do we can pull it through that side. I think I might just go and box all this stuff in right here. Check one. These bigger guys, I don't think I'd fit through that small garage door on the back side of the shed there. Otherwise, I'd drive it straight through. But I don't think I'll be able to make it. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is double stack these, take up a little bit less room. up against this side so hopefully I'm still able to get through but hopefully those bungee cords help it a little bit it's gonna be a little bit more of an advanced move we're gonna lift this guy up hopefully wiggle through here without hitting anything So we do have all of these guys moved in here now. Uh, I'm fairly happy with it. It's all organized and my biggest goal was just to make sure that it was easy to move so that if we needed to get in for any reason or have to move you know, the slide or anything like that, that it'd be really easy to move and that's what we achieved. So I'm kind of gonna show you what this stuff is gonna be used for. So we're planning on using all of it. Um, I really, we had to brainstorm because we knew we wanted this stuff but we didn't really know where we were gonna put it. But I think the plan right now is this is the wall on the back side of the shed. So the shed is through that garage door. I think the plan right now is set those big racks up along these walls. And uh, that way everything that, a lot of this stuff that's sitting out here, a lot of these generators and stuff, 
can be stacked up on top of those pallet racks, as well as stuff that's actually inside the shed that we don't use that often. Uh, we can just stack that out here. We can bring the skid steer out here and boom, 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 stack everything up. So there'd be a big pallet rack on that side of the wall and a big pallet rack on that side of the wall. And then as far as those little racks go, I'm kind of thinking that we would line most of this side of the wall with those where the combine is right now. We'd clear all this junk out of here and stack those up and line all the way down with those walls and or those racks, I should say. And hopefully that should work fine. Um, if for some reason we can't fit them all down this wall on this side, then we'll hop over to this wall over here. The reason I like this wall a little bit better is there's not an air compressor. On this side, there's a big air compressor against the wall. That I would like to not move if we don't have to, but obviously if we have to move stuff, we have to move stuff. But that's the plan right now. Uh, so we're going to see what we can do now for today. We got somebody got to go help out a little bit later, but... We're gonna try to finish up on the shed here and hopefully get it clean. So we're starting to wind down our day here a little bit. I'm fairly happy with what we got accomplished. We had our pallet racks cleaned up fairly well. Uh, that's all I really wanted to get done. Now that that's all clean, I can start moving that stuff back over tomorrow and that should not be hard. Cleaning the pallet racks was definitely uh, the hard part of cleaning the whole shed for the spring. Uh, we have a tank and a toolbox I need to throw on the other side of the shed real quick as well as some boxes, some watermelon boxes. And then we're probably going to pull that snowmobile out and put that on the other side of the shed as well. But uh, after that, we'll probably call it a night. So that's all we had planned for today. We're going to head home now. Dinner's waiting for us. So we're going to take off. I'm fairly happy with what we got done. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys.